today. Andy's Ryzen 6000 gets put in a handheld. Ryzen 7000 pricing makes me sad. Intel just confirmed their desktop ARC GPUs, and Nvidia's RTX 4000 cards are coming way sooner than we thought. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, a new handheld PC set to compete with Valve's Steam Deck has been announced. It's the Aya Neo 2, and it's one of the first handhelds to use AMD's newest Ryzen 6000 series, specifically the 6800U, which should be a pretty massive boost over Valve's Steam Deck. I mean, we're talking 50% more GPU cores along with much higher clocks. Of course, there's something to be said about optimization given Valve also owns Steam, so they could do more to optimize their Steam Deck over anything else. Either way, the Neo 2 comes with a 1280 x 800 screen and a frameless display, a new fingerprint module, LPDDR5 at 6400, and it's set for release by the end of this year. Unfortunately, we don't have pricing yet, but that's obviously where things will likely differ from the the Steam Deck. The Aya Neo Next comes in at around 1500 bucks, so it's significantly more expensive. But you can see in this slide that the Aya Neo Next is the top level series, so the Aya Neo 2 should be cheaper. They also announced the Aya Neo Slide as well as the Aya Neo Air, but those aren't nearly as interesting as the Aya Neo 2. Of course, Ryzen 7000 is even more interesting. Now, before I get to that, maintaining privacy online is more important than ever, but that doesn't mean you need to overspend to get it. In fact, you can protect your data and so much more with today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. And right now, they're offering an incredible deal of $1.99 a month for three years when you visit my link in the description. And for just $1.99 a month, you can encrypt your data and hide your IP address so no one can track you. Not only that, but Atlas VPN can block malicious ads, links, and trackers. Plus, they notify you if someone's trying to steal your data. To top it all off, you can actually actually use Atlas VPN on unlimited devices all at once with the same $1.99 a month plan. And if that doesn't have you convinced, Atlas VPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no reason not to try. Just sign up at my link in the description to protect your privacy today. Next up for today, AMD's full lineup of Ryzen 7000 CPUs look to have been leaked. I'm talking we have some specs as well as pricing, which originally comes from a channel that's maintained by the Asian retail store Taobao and later published on Weibo. As you can see, it lists the upcoming Zen 4 parts along with their pricing. And first up, we have the 7950X, which according to them is actually a 24-core, 48-thread CPU. Now, most leaks so far have suggested that it's a 16-core CPU, but there's been some discussion that AMD might move up to 24 cores. At least according to this, that may in fact be the case. As for pricing, they claim the CPU costs 6,501 Chinese yuan, which converts to 950 bucks. As usual though, doing direct conversions like this isn't going to be extremely accurate, but that certainly sounds like we could see a price increase from AMD yet again. Next is the 7900X, which is around $660 when converting. Then we have the 7800X, which is around $500, and finally is the 7600X, which is around $350 when converted. Basically, we could see a price jump across the board for next gen. Of course, if we do see a jump in core count, that could explain it, but the higher cores are likely only relegated to the 7950X. Next up, Intel just confirmed their upcoming desktop ARC GPUs. That's right, while the company hasn't said much about their desktop lineup of GPUs, leaks have given us quite a bit of information, and Intel just confirmed a ton of it in their recently released beta driver. Specifically, Intel confirmed five desktop GPUs. As you can see here, they mentioned the A770, A750, A580, A380, and A310. Basically, Intel accidentally confirmed their desktop ARC GPU lineup. Now, with that said, don't forget that Intel has already confirmed that their desktop cards are set to release in China first, and then to the rest of the world, similar to what they did with their notebook cards, though they went to South Korea first. Either way, last I heard, the notebook GPUs still haven't been released worldwide, so even when Intel officially releases their desktop ARC GPUs, I wouldn't expect a full release for quite a while. Either way, the GPUs do look to be coming soon, but by then, next-gen GPUs could already be here, so it may end up being too late. 
And speaking of next-gen GPUs, Nvidia's RTX 4000 cards are coming a lot sooner than anyone imagined. Plus, we have some updated specs and insane performance. The story originally comes from the very trustworthy leaker, Copite 7 Kimmy, and as you can see, he claims that Ada Lovelace is coming earlier than we thought. More specifically, he later stated Q3 early. Video cards then asked for confirmation on what he meant, to which he replied with mid-July. Meaning when he said Q3 early, he meant the early part of Q3. I mean, mid-July is only two months from now, so Nvidia's next-gen cards are flat right around the corner. But the news doesn't stop there. Copite 7 Kimmy shared some updated specs for Nvidia's upcoming cards, specifically the RTX 4090. According to him, the GPU comes with a whopping 16,128 FB32 cores, which means traditional cores, so not ray tracing or tensor cores. And that's obviously a big boost in cores over the 3090. Next, he claims that it comes with 24 gigabytes of 21 gigabit per second memory, and that's what he shared before. What's different is the power draw. According to the new specs, he claims the 4090 pulls 450 watts, but before he claimed it would be 600. Maybe that's now been reserved for the 4090 Ti. Of course, Nvidia could have simply changed it, which can always happen. The earlier leak may have been correct when it was mentioned, but things can always change before release. Either way, this should be much closer to the final specs, as well as performance, to which Copite 7 Kimmy claims the 4090 equals two 3090s, so next gen is definitely no slouch. Sure, 450 watts is a lot, but double the performance is nothing to scoff at. He then ends the tweet by noting that he's disappointed with RDNA 3, and that's obviously a bit concerning. But another leaker, Lafrit David, claims that RDNA 3 is fine. I guess time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Nvidia's RTX 4000 cards? If so, let me know what GPU you're hoping to get down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Atlas VPN in the description below. And as always, have a great day!